pounding something, Vanessa? Yeah, yeah. We're making beef for lamb today. Okay. And we have a wonderful piece of meat here. Show you what mm -hmm. we use. Yeah. And we cut thin slices. Um, in Europe, the butcher slices it really, really thin. Here, yeah. it's hard to get sometimes, so I pound mine a little bit. Okay. And there's no problem. Yeah. So what we'll do? So this is beef, right? Yeah, beef. Yeah. What kind of a, is that a shoulder or something? Uh, no, or? no, it's a hind, hind, hind part. Court? Yeah, yeah. Hind. and upper hind side is the best. Mm. Okay, a little pepper, freshly ground pepper here. Mm -hmm. And some Himalaya sea salt. This is always made with beef, right? Yeah. Yeah. These particular ones are made with beef. Okay, now we need a little mustard. And I like my tarragon mustard. You can use whatever you want, but it's don't, don't do not use. Well, not that sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Do not use what? A too sweet of a mustard. Oh, okay. I was yeah. going to say. Right. Okay. Right. So, but as I said, this one is available. I found it. And I got it delivered. I think you have to 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 That's order to, Austrian? Yeah. From okay. Mount Marco from Is Vienna. From Vienna? Yeah. So you have to order it twelve or something. But so we'll put a little bacon on it. Some bacon. Yeah, this is turf and turf, eh? Turf and turf, right. No. No surf and turf. No, it's wonderful. Wonderful. So you have a little bit of a smoky flavor to mm -hmm. it, and then some um, carrots, a couple yeah. of little carrot sticks. Okay. And is this a German dish or an Austrian dish? Oh, they make them everywhere. Both, yeah. Yeah. All over Europe. It's, yeah. Well, Europe is a cuisine. There. You know, because of the big Austrian Empire and all the, you know, they were always together or exchanged um, certain, yeah. certain... Uh, in Europe, the, the cuisine traveled with the, you know, like an Italian Variety. princess and Medici would, ma would marry an, uh, yeah. a, a, French, a French king and, yeah. and, and then she would bring all her chefs and all yeah. of a sudden, you know, you have... A, um, a, Italian cuisine in France, actually, I shouldn't right. say that too loud, but that's how the French cuisine came about, yeah. through the Maria de Caterina de' Medici coming to France. So here we have a little that's bit a little of yeah, it's a little organic much, pork maybe. fat. Organic pork fat, yeah. I do not like to do oil. Yeah. So what we have here? We'll add a couple of pickles here. Yeah. He's really not ready now. Yeah. And here too. See? And some more. And then we need a little bit of onion. That's how you get it finest. Put some onion here. And here and here. I think this one is in the wrong direction. There's not enough room. You always have to watch to put it on so you can close it after, mm -hmm. right? Do you put sauerkraut in these? No. Not in these. You probably could though. So I'm just going to show you one. Yeah. You take this and you roll them up. Wonderful. You're good at rolling okay. everything. Yeah. And you take a toothpick and you put them in here. Actually you just need one. Because I tell you what I do. When I put them in my pan, here we yeah. have a, a pot here, pan, 
I put them the cut side down. Okay. So they got sealed yeah. off. Yeah. Yep. That sealed it off. They stayed in that shape. Okay. okay. So we'll finish this off and then we come back. Okay. Oh, they're getting looking good now. Yeah. We found one side and you see it holds together quite nicely yeah. and I turned them over. Yeah. And I put the little leftover little bacon bits that I had in there as well. Yeah. What's in there now? And some mm -hmm. carrots. I have to do a few batches here. Yeah. And that's your favorite little tool. Isn't uh, it? Well, I really like it. And the thing is, it's washed really quick. Wash quick? Yeah. Okay. When you can take it anywhere, you can take it camping, you can take it anywhere yeah. when you yeah. cook. And, and when, when you have no electricity, you can yeah. still, still use it, right? Yeah. So, what I'm also going to put in is some, some pickles, some red onions. Now, you don't have to use red onions. Mm -hmm. If you don't have them, just use white also okay. for the inside. Okay, sorry for reaching. So we'll do this first. You could do an ad for that. Yeah. What is that? I mean, stir fruit. Stir fruit, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And we'll do a little more and some celery. Yeah. Wonderful. It's starting an upward more. Yeah. So we'll take this. And what do you do with that? This goes on top oh, okay. of this here. And this yeah. will make the sauce. Okay. Okay. And the sauce has a little bit of a of a sour piquant sourness to it. Right? Mm, okay. yeah. So what we'll do is put a little red wine in it too. The mm -hmm. celery smells good in yeah, there. Yeah, it smells very good. Yeah. Very nice. Right. And we just let it cook through now. And at the end we'll see if it needs salt, pepper. Okay? Very nice. Maybe a little more water in here. Close the lid and let it just simmer on low heat. Okay. How long do you think? Um half an hour. Oh really? okay. Yep, sounds good. Okay. You make, with your lab you make the rice? Yeah, rice okay. is very nice. A quick tip, you know, for rice. Yeah. This is two parts, uh, two parts water, one part rice. Yeah. Lots of butter on the bottom. I like yeah. it. Yeah. And then I put half an onion and I spike it with cloves. Oh, okay. And that gives a wonderful flavor. And just put some salt in, and that's all it needs. Okay. Clove and onion. Yeah. Okay. Clove nice. and onion. Yeah. yeah. This is what here doing. it is. Quite nice. Mm -hmm. And what I have here. It's a mixture of butter and flour, yeah. which is always good because that way you don't get lumps and you blend it before together. And that makes the gravy? Yeah, it makes it a little smoother. Mm -hmm. So all those uh, veggies you chopped up, yeah, they, all they cook down sauce. and become gravy? Yep, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So there's really, the only flour in there is what's in that. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. The rest all comes from the vegetables, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So I'm going to shut it off, get a little rice mm -hmm. in here. And mm -hmm. okay, we're plate it here. Plating it on your kumundu. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you call those plates? Kumundan ceramic. Mm -hmm. around it and because there's a pickle in it I like to 
put a pickle on the plate. As a garnish? As a garnish because it tastes good. Just see how we did here. Oh, okay. it's not too bad. Very nice. Okay, yeah. here you go. Rouladen. Hey, Rouladen? Yeah. Rouladen, especially <laughs> from Vanessa. Yeah. Thank you. So that's what the inside of the Rouladen looks like with the pickle and the carrots and all that good stuff in there. Very tasty too. I've been eating part of that.